Okay, new tomato. Clock is on. Awesome. So last episode, we made the scoring function have a default implementation. And we would like to remove it, but there are some other APIs using it. So why don't we try removing this invocation to the delegate and see where it breaks? Probably going to give us a hint what to do next. Okay, it broke a test in the deprecated game. That's good. Okay, so maybe we should have a look at the deprecated game. Yeah. Let me put this back, make sure it's still green. Fantastic. Now, deprecated game. Here we are. Right. So the router adapter is implementing the quiz delegate. But the quiz delegate has a default implementation for the did complete quiz function. Okay, so that's what it needs. Yes, exactly. We need to implement that here. And we want to call the router in here with a result. Yes. But now it's our responsibility to create a result as a client of the quiz engine. Yes, exactly. This behavior will simulate the client, but with the old API, right? Right, which means we won't need this anymore when we are done. Yes, that's correct. So all we need to do is to create a result. Mm -hmm. I think we can do that. How do we create a result? Right, so it needs the questions and answers in a dictionary form. And it also needs score. Okay, let's use zero for now. So we need to transform this array of tuples into a dictionary of questions and answers. Right. So we can either reduce or use a for loop or something like that. Let's try to reduce them. So we have the answers here. And we reduce the answers. Right. Dictionary of r.question, r.answer. We're going to have the accumulation. Right. And the tuple. And the tuple. We set the tuple dot question, question to be the tuple answer and we return. Yep. Oh, we need to initialize the dictionary. And of course, the accumulated value is a let. Right. So we can make a variable locally. Yes. Awesome. So we need to score this somehow. Right. Well, we have the scoring function there. Oh, like we do here in the start game. Yep. And to score, we need to have the dictionary of answers. Right. Let's call it answer dictionary. Yeah. And then we need to call the scoring function by passing the answers dictionary and the correct answers. So what are the correct answers here? Let's put this into a property as well. So we need to get correct answers somehow. Right. So we can inject them, right? So we can pass it here, you mean? Yes. Correct answers is a dictionary. You can hold it in the private scope. Yes, that's it. And since this is private in a short scope, we don't give it a name. So what we do now is to pass the correct answers when we create the adapter. Exactly. Okay. So let's have a look at the type constraints in the scoring function. Oh, the answer needs to be equatable. Oh. And okay, that's easy to solve. We can just add a type constraint here. Answer is equatable. Right. Let's see if the test passes. And it does. Yeah, nice. So the test is passing even though we're not calling this function, which means this is irrelevant right. right now. And we are moving the logic away from the flow into the client. Very nice. And in the deprecated case, this is the client, it's the adapter. Yes, exactly. We probably can do some refactoring later, but I would like to commit this. Yeah, let's commit. Okay, so we updated the deprecated adapter to use the new did complete quiz API. Which means that do we need to pass the scoring function here or can we just use the default one? Yeah, that should do it. Fantastic. Right. Let's commit this. Remove unnecessary code. Yep. I would like to go back to the handle result function and let's try to comment this out and see what happens. Okay, we have another crash here, but now it's in the quiz test. Right. So this is the next step. Let me put this back, run the test. Oh, good. Let's see, what do we want here? We don't have score anymore in the quiz. Yeah, exactly. The domain of the quiz doesn't, doesn't know about score anymore. So why don't we get rid of this handle result first? Uh-huh. Completed quizzes. That's it. Yeah. An array of tuples. tuples. 
array of array of tuples. Yeah. So look at those tests. They talk about if a question is right or wrong, but there's no such concept anymore. Exactly. Because exactly. the quiz is generic. And now we're pushing this responsibility to the client. So why don't we update this test? Yeah. So I can pass anything here. Let's say A1 and A2 instead of wrong. There's no wrong anymore. Right. And the completed quizzes count should be one. Yes. Let's start here. Now, what about these other tests? I don't think we need them. They are redundant because what are they testing here? The score. Right. <laughs> and that's going away. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. So I think we can copy the assert equal function that we made in the flow test because the next step is to assert with what quiz you complete. Yeah, to be fair, I'm tempted to copy this delegate. Yeah, we can do that as well. And just remove the things I don't need. Do we care about questions asked? No. Do we care about handled result? No. Do we care about answer completion? Yes. So we don't care about questions asked. And we don't care about the handle function. So I just need to invoke completion. Yes. And we can even inline these now. Yeah, we don't need the setup anymore. We can even have the delegate in the test scope, line 11. OK. So this is the test we want, just to make sure that using this API will give us a completed quiz at the end. Yes plus the assertions for what the quiz actually is, the captured quiz, I mean. So we can copy the flow test method, as you said. Yeah. Okay, so now we can use the assert equal, the delegate, completed quizzes, position zero should be equal to, what is the setup? Q1, Q2? Yes. Q1, and what is the first answer? A1, whoops, and the second tuple yeah. is the second question, Q2, and A2. A2. That's all. And I want you to add something to the list. Yeah. Remove okay. duplication. Yeah, exactly. We need to remove duplication there. Okay, so remove duplicated code. So far, it's the delegate spy and assert equal. Yeah. Okay, now let me run this test. You pass? Yeah, beautiful. Mm, but I want to see a failing test. Change the value. What if we change the setup here? Yeah. Okay, it's failing. Fantastic. Okay. Let's commit. Yes. Updated quiz test to use new APIs. Beautiful. Yeah. Right, so the next thing is that we don't need the correct answers anymore. Right. Because there's nothing using it. What happens if we give a default value here? Okay, pass the test. What if I just remove this? Is there any other client using this? The scoring does, right? The scoring does, but I don't need to pass the scoring anymore. Right. Fantastic. Yeah, that's a lot cleaner. Okay, which means we should move this scoring function now. Yes. That is not used anymore in this context. Only in the deprecated game, I guess. Right. So, okay. Right on time. Let, actually, let's do it in this tomato as well. So we removed the correct answers there as it's unused. So we moved redundant code. Yes. And we need to move this somewhere else. Yes. So what happens if I get rid of this? Where is this used? It's used in the deprecated game. Excellent. So we can move it to the scope where it's used. Yeah. Probably here. That's the only reference there. Which means we don't even need to give this. We just say r.question, r.answer, r.question, r.answer. Yes. And we can make it private. Fantastic. Let's move this up and let's commit. Moved scoring function to private deprecated scope. Right. Finally, which means we can 
remove it from the list yes it's done beautiful anything else we've done so far i would highly appreciate if we can remove the duplicated code next episode cool <laughs> bye <laughs>